The Samsung Galaxy A14 5G serves as one of Samsung's mass market entries into the budget smartphone market in 2023, although the aging Galaxy A03s has yet to be replaced by American prepaid networks. With it being a compelling option for budget phone seekers, having a retail price of $100 for TrackPhone and its subsidiaries, I knew I had to buy it when I saw it on clearance at my local Walmart for just $50. Welcome to Walmart Bargains Episode 1, the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G for Simple Mobile. This is Morgborg Tech. So I will come right out and say that this is a 5G phone, as evidenced by the name of this phone. In fact, this is one of the cheapest phones that I have seen recently that supports 5G networks running on Verizon towers. This phone has a 6.6 inch LCD PLS Full HD Plus Infinity V display, capable of 1080p resolution with a pixel density of 400 pixels per inch, which I find to be a very impressive number for this segment. Camera hardware includes a triple camera setup on the rear with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth lens capable of 1080p video at 30 frames per second. A 13 megapixel front facing camera which sits on the display's notch is also capable of 1080p video at 30 frames per second. This phone includes a 5000 mAh non-removable battery capable of 41 hours of talk time and 16 days of standby time. 64GB of internal storage is included which can be expanded up to 1TB via a micro SD card. This phone comes with the MediaTek MT6833 Dimensity 700, a 2.2GHz octa-core processor. A side-mounted fingerprint sensor is included. Moving on to the packaging design, it's nothing special by any stretch of the word, being your typical prepaid phone packaging, although I notice a slight difference in packaging design compared to older track phone devices, perhaps in an effort to cut down on plastic. The inside of the flap gives you plan information, as well as a brief rundown of the specs and a preview of the phone. Fine print galore litters the back of the box. Now it's time to unbox the $50 Galaxy A14 5G. Alright guys, so to get into the $50 Galaxy A14 5G, as you can see here, this is the inside of the packaging here, inside of this flap here. Just gotta cut some tape here and there's a little seal. So I'll grab my knife here to do that real quick. Just like that, we can get in now. Removing the contents of the box reveals the phone itself wrapped in plastic, activation information, a USB-C to USB-C cable, information about 611611, the user guide, Samsung's quick start guide, and terms and conditions, Simple Mobile's terms and conditions of service, a warning about 911 use through Wi-Fi calling, and an ejector tool for the SIM and SD cards, a charging brick is not included in the box. Removing the phone's plastic wrap reveals a textured plastic back which attracts fingerprints easily, a glass front that also attracts fingerprints, and smooth side plastic that isn't so bad in this regard. Taking a look at the phone before turning it on, the bottom side of the phone has a headphone jack, a microphone, the USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and a speaker. On the right side is the volume toggle, as well as the combination power button and fingerprint sensor. On the top is another microphone. On the left side is the combination SIM and SD card tray. On the back are the three camera lenses and an LED flash. Down below is the Samsung logo, sitting above this phone's IMEI, which I have covered. On the front is the front facing camera and display. Turning on the phone, we are presented with the Samsung Galaxy logo, followed by the track phone animation. A restart was required to get the pre-installed SIM card set up. I went ahead and did most of the setup process off camera, as it was business as usual for an Android phone. However, I've chosen to include the track phone device pulse screen, as I've never seen this before. Device Pulse is an app that provides device information as well as a way of contacting track phone support.
Now we are in. Going into settings, we can find that this phone runs Android 13. I'm not sure if this phone will be seeing future software upgrades, but I wouldn't rule the possibility of it out. We also find that of this phone's 64GB of storage, 43.2 are available to the end user out of the box. So that's the unboxing of the $50 Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I have more coming up soon. And with that, peace. Thank <laughs> you.